Hello everyone, I am Mageshwari, Assistant Professor, Department of B.Sc. Information Technology at Dr. S.N.S. Rajleshmi College of Arts and Science. In this video, I am going to discuss about Voice Extensible Markup Language, that is Voice XML. It is a markup language which is based on the HTML tag that is used to create many voice applications and audio dialogues. It is a digital document standard that specify interactive voice response that is in the form of IVR applications and it is currently industry standard for building them. Voice XML applications can access from any phone and can interact with business data and logics. Users can interact with voice XML applications by press speaking or pressing telephone keys. This voice XML, uh, the best example as uh, we are surfing using uh, voice searching. Uh, this is the best example for voice XML. In order to develop such a, such a type of application, we can use either HTML or XML tags. Uh, with, uh, with these tags will help to develop voice based XML files uh, or voice based files inside the uh, mobile phone or various devices. In voice application, it can include various dialogues and features. First, it spoken input telephone keypad. It is an input recording of spoken input synthesized speech out recorded audio output telephony features such as call transfer and disconnect data flow control voice XML uh, which was developed in 1999 by telecom industry experts. Uh, in voice XML, first it should record the uh, user's request in the form of voice and then it will be processed in with the help those requests will be processed inside the web server. Uh, before transmitting uh, to web server, it meet out various entities in order to transfer files from uh, requested, send, uh, requested pro part to receiver end. Since it was developed by W3 Consortium, uh, it is in this uh, voice XML, various tags uh, or uh, various family, uh, tags can be implemented. Also, uh, it helps to uh, uh, develop a web server, side, web server side logic to deliver voice content to the internet. Uh, in this in this diagram the process will be how the process will be takes place between uh, telephonic system to the web server uh, in this diagram uh, i am going to take uh, the telephonic system as a fixed landline through this i can uh, uh, data can be transmitted to nearest pstn network uh, after that that uh, network will forward the same request to the browsers the browser will proceed the request and find out the http address of the server uh, it, it forms various addresses regarding that server but it find out the nearest and accurate server which process the information Mm, that information will be again forwarded to the nearest web servers. In this servers, uh, in this applications, it contains various grammars, audio files and scripts. These will be processed in web server and web server will produce the output to the end user. Uh, in, uh, in web server, we call it as, we also call it as application server since it process user request so it is called as application server it uses various logic uh, con uh, contents and data transaction processing database processing and database interface uh, it has uh, it, it, it will maintain a number of databases in order to process the user request and it uses various processing mechanisms to produce the output which is requested by the prompt users uh, in the in the form of the uh, voice xml contains various images audio files and scripts which will be processed by the web server and it, uh, web, uh, web browser is the interface through which we can uh, receive the uh, output from the web server so that web server will be act as a backend uh, in this the voice xml language uh, let's it uses a familiar markup styles and web server side logics in order to deliver a content to the receiver uh, it uses various uh, syntaxes and uh, tags those tags helps to find out and uh, generate new files which is uh, very innovative to the uh, mobile application development 
These tags will, uh, will also be helps to implement voice XML based applications in uh, mobile computing. So in mobile computing, voice XML is a part of uh, MC uh, which helps to find out easily from the uh, find out or surfing data easily from the web server regarding of uh, content making. So this is the best advantages while we are using voice XML inside mobile applications. Thank you.